How many types of birds are there in the world? Can you guess? Well, let's start for now. The crested honey buzzard, Pernus tylerinchus, is a bird of prey in the family Axipitridae, which also includes many other diurnal raptors such as kites, eagles, and harriers. This species is also known as the oriental honey buzzard. The name is derived from its diet, which consists mainly of the larvae of bees and wasps extracted from honeycombs. Despite its name, this species is not related to buteo buzzards and is taxonomically closer to the kites. It appears long-necked with a small head and soars on flat wings. The head lacks a strong superciliary ridge, giving it a facial appearance very unlike a raptor. It has a long tail and a short head crest. It is brown above, but not as dark as the European honey buzzard and paler below. A dark throat stripe is present. Unusually for a large bird of prey, the sexes can be distinguished. The male has a blue-gray head with brown iris, while the female's head is brown and the iris is yellow. She is slightly larger and darker than the male. The male has two black bands in the tail and three black underwing bands, while the female has three black tail bands and four narrow black underwing bands. The juvenile has extensive black primary tips with narrower underwing bands. It has a yellow sear at the base of the bill and a dark iris. The coloration and the tail pattern of the species are highly variable. The similarity in plumage between juvenile crested honey buzzards and the Nicetus hawk eagles may have arisen as a partial protection against predation by larger raptors. The eagles have stronger bills and talons and are likely to be less vulnerable than the Pernus species. Similar mimicry is shown by the juveniles of the European honey buzzard, which resembles the common buzzard. Although the northern goshawk is capable of killing both species, it is likely to be more cautious about attacking the better protected buteo species. The crested honey buzzard is a summer migrant to Siberia, wintering in tropical Southeast Asia. Elsewhere, it is more or less resident. Crested buzzards that migrate from breeding areas in Japan to wintering areas in Southeast Asia fly over the East China Sea. This 700 km non-stop flight over water is possible because during autumn, winds over the sea blow in the same direction as the bird's direction of flight. As climate change affects wind conditions worldwide, the wind support over the East China Sea could be reduced. The crested honey buzzard tea is a specialist feeder, living mainly on the larvae of social bees and wasps, and eating bits of comb and honey. The tongue has a groove adapted for extracting larvae from the honeycomb. It takes other small insect prey such as cicadas. It occasionally eats small birds, reptiles and frogs like other raptors. The crested honey buzzard breeds in woodland and is inconspicuous except in the spring, when the mating display includes wing clapping. The display of roller coasting in flight and fluttering wings at the peak of the ascent are characteristic of the genus Pernus. It breeds in Asia from central Siberia east to Japan. The nesting season in India is April to June, though it starts in February in South India. Male and female share the responsibilities of rearing the young. In the Java island of Indonesia, people living in or near forested areas suffer from attacks, sometimes fatal, by giant honey bees. The local people and honey collectors blame the honey buzzards for these attacks. This raptor attacks the nests of the giant honey bee. As it flies away with a piece of the honeycomb in its claws, it is pursued by angry bees. The local belief is that as its escape strategy, the honey buzzard flies close to humans in the vicinity to transfer the attack of the angry bees to the humans. However, in a study of the hunting behavior of honey buzzards conducted between 2003 to 2019, no evidence of this strategy was observed by the researchers. They surmised that a decline in the habitat due to human activity has increased the conflict between bees and humans. I hope you got more information about your favorite animal. Please get back soon, bye for now.